Okay, and now I'm going to talk for a second about the fretboard and uh, these carbon fiber rods. These weigh like nothing, they're air. But uh, on six and seven string basses, or sometimes if somebody really says, hey, I, I'm on the road a lot and I'm constantly playing in climates that are rainy and sunny and you know all over the place, I'll in inset a couple of carbon fiber rods into the neck for stability because obviously they, don't, they aren't affected by moisture content and they just make the neck more rigid and strong. So the, um, I, that's, there are a couple of them there that are inlaid. And I do that, of course, in addition to the truss rod. On the fretboard, I start out with basically a quarter inch uh, slab of wood. And it's important on the, to, for the grain pattern to be pretty even and consistent. You don't want uh, any weird things to happen over the life of a fretboard. And I have cut the notches. These are just very tiny slots. And here I have frets that are going to be placed into the board. And because they're tiny, I'll, I'll just draw what is on the end of a, a fret. There's your fret, and it has a tang. So the fret literally has a tang that goes down into each slot. And I put um, CA glue and pound the fret right into the slot, and it, it, it stays, fortunately. And um, so that's... That's how that works. At, and I have to go down. Obviously, there's 24 frets that have to be inlaid. But at this point, the fretboard is still flat. It is, uh, I'm going to glue this onto the, to the wood with it being flat. I can clamp it. It's all there. But I'm going to go and put a radius, a curve, onto this for comfort and for playability. And I use a compound radius. I, it's a steeper radius here than it is here because as the strings, they widen out. And it's, a, it's really a conical shape as the strings widen out. And so to, have, to be able to put the strings at an equal distance from the fretboard all the way out, the arc, the compound radius, has to change. So I have a, a, an amazing tool that does that very accurately. But anyway, at this point, we're going to glue this down, and we've still got the neck as a square block at this point. 